Alright, so a little while ago, someone in my comments asked me what the best gear set for LR Eskinor is, given that he does have a holy relic that increases his attack based on his defense. So you would kind of think that maybe attack defense would be better, but after doing some testing, of course, I figured out that attack crit uh, netted you a little bit higher damage. But while doing those tests, I actually figured out something really strange, and that is that damage numbers in Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross are randomized. Now, what I mean by this is they aren't really all super, super randomized now you do have your like basic stats here you do have attack hp defense now defense of course is gonna like reduce the damage you take by a little bit at least that is sort of what it's supposed to do then you also have things like you know uh, crit defense you have things like resistance that also like reduces the damage that you take but you also have modifiers that increase the damage that you deal not just attack but you also have crit chance crit damage and uh, you have pierce rate as well and these things should combine into a sort of set number that you will always sort of hit like every single single damage calculator that I've seen on Reddit that I've seen online and that I've seen like two years ago all say like this is how the damage calculations are and they're never really correct and that's because the damage is a little bit randomized now I will show this actually I'm probably not gonna show it with the one Eskinor I do need to find a character that does have like a one hit attack that only hits once and that can basically always crit so let's just take Rudius here now Rudius does have a flood card it will always crit anytime he sort of uses a card or anytime a human ally uses a card he will get an orb but anytime he uses this card he will like remove the orb so it will be very consistent like he's not gonna get increased damage over time like for example lr eskinor is like the more he applies those uh, flames on the enemies and stuff like that his holy relic here is also not gonna affect that in any way we will just test out rudis we're gonna go into the preview here where we can just sort of use the same skill over and over again and i will actually write the numbers that he's actually doing here and we will have a look at his damage so i'm not gonna bore you with all of them uh, but i will just show you some of them 205,508. that's the first one if you do another one you will see that it will probably be different 193,283 and so on and so forth like this is how i'll do it i'll do this for a while at uh, 200,269 and we will get sort of uh, different types of numbers here so i will just mark these as a b and c and you will sort of see later like we will get the exact same numbers here as well probably 195,030 so it's not quite the same just yet this is actually range 203,762 we haven't had that one yet 762 i don't think i've ever had this happen before where i get five of the numbers 193 283 we've had that one before yes as you can see here this is actually really strange i don't think that's ever happened here but as you will see more and more of like the same numbers will appear and there is a correlation between them 200,000 yeah it's this one right here again i sort of started noticing this i've noticed this in the past as well as we're like going through this 205 508 that's the first one we had but i noticed this in the past when testing out some new characters and stuff like that they they would sort of hit the same sort of number 203,000. what was it this one yeah but there is a correlation between these numbers we'll go over them in a bit but i do need to find an additional five numbers here so i'll get back to you once i actually do find them So I actually think I found all of them right here. Now let me just double check. So 207, I don't have it here. I don't have it here. Not here, not here. That's 202, 203, 195, 193, 205. Okay, so they do appear to go all the way from 191,537 to, is this one the highest one? 207,255. So I'm just going to put them in numerical order and we'll have a look at them. Okay, so down here we do have them in numerical order. So 191,537 all the way to 207,255. Now there is a correlation between these numbers and if we bring up a calculator here we can actually see what that correlation is. We will have a look here. So what I will do is I'm going to take this number right here and I will subtract this number here and we get 1746. Now this all seems a little bit mathy, a little bit annoying perhaps. I'm just going to remove all of these and we're just going to have a look at differences. So if we do have a look at this, this difference right here. So for example if I reset this we do that one and we subtract this one we do get 1746. Or seven. So that is very close to this one, right? Now you do see sort of a correlation between these numbers. Now, if we take this number and we add 1746, we get 196,776. 
which is this number right here. So then we can do the same and we can just continue. All right, so I just got the correct jumps here. But as you can see, the jumps are exactly the same. But the damage numbers that we deal, as you can see up here, all the way down here, this was the order I actually did the, you know, the numbers in. And it is random. It just jumps between these numbers. This is actually very, very quickly to actually finding all 10 of them. Sometimes it takes like 30, 40 times before you find the final one. Because it's just going to randomize between the other nine before you actually get to the 10th one. But we can actually see what the correlation between these numbers are. So because we do have 10 numbers here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. What I can do here is I can take the lowest number, do an addition uh, with the highest number, or do an addition with all the numbers if I wanted to, and then like subtract by 10, or I can do the lowest and the highest one and divide by 2, and I get 199,396, which would put me at here, which is just between these two rows of 5, but this is sort of the number here. Now, what is the correlation between this number and this number? And that's actually pretty damn interesting. And it's like this for every single character. Now, if we go into percentagecalculator.com and we have a look at this here. So we just type in this and this. So 1746 is what percent of 199396 and that is 0 0.875. This is a very important number. Like we can do this with the seven here as well. So if you have a look at that correlation, that is the percentage and the uh, 0.875 percent is actually seven eighths of a percentage so that is what that is if you do seven divided by eight that is what you get and why i'm bringing this up is because i do find it kind of interesting that the jump between each of these damage numbers i'm just going to remove this here and we're going to go like this the jump between each of these damage numbers right here is the average is of course uh, seven eighths of a percentage so from this, it's 7 eighths of a percentage to this, which is 7 eighths of a percentage to this, all the way up here. So the total difference between these comes out to plus minus 7.875% damage difference. So for each attack that you deal, not accounting for like any sort of difference in the enemy's sort of resistance or whatever, not the enemy's defense. And of course, like you can buff up with Luda Margaret, for example, and then you will take less damage. It doesn't calculate for anything of that, but it does sort of show us the difference between like the damage numbers and this isn't an insignificant number it's almost eight percent and eight percent can be huge sometimes it's gonna make the difference between like being able to kill someone and not being able to kill someone but i just found that to be interesting it's just something that i kind of wanted to bring to everyone's attention that that is a sort of mechanic in the game there is a randomness on top of the like regular randomness that you have with sort of being able to crit or not being able to crit like sometimes you'll be able to crit the enemy sometimes you won't but it's like more than that the damage is actually completely random well it's not completely random but there is a a set percentage difference of plus minus 7.875 percent or eight percent give or take but it's still pretty interesting i know a lot of like rpg games do this where they have like say for example you get a weapon and it says that that weapon will deal between 50 and 70 damage and, and every time you hit that is sort of a little bit of the randomness in the game and I think that is sort of why I also love this game. Like there is, of course, the random elements. They can be frustrating at times, but it can also be so rewarding. Like I do think that these random numbers or that the randomness, whenever the stars align, you do get this dopamine kick. Like, oh my God, that was so awesome. Like the damage was so high. Uh, I got super lucky with the card draw. Uh, the enemies were pretty unlucky with their card draws. And then I also happened to crit and I sort of hit a really, really high damaging crit. Maybe I hit it like, you know, this number rather than this number. And there is, a sort of satisfaction in that a lot of games do this of course that means like the damage calculations that i've seen people use they might be for like the average i don't know but whenever i've searched for this about the damage numbers being random perhaps it's my search parameters but i wasn't able to find anything about this but i thought i would like bring this to everyone's attention so that you do know that there is another set of like random numbers that we sort of have to deal with in the game so yeah that's pretty interesting honestly uh, at least i think so and it's like interesting to like go over well sometimes like i know that I hit with like Eskin or whatever was able to kill the bird on the first phase but for some reason I just didn't kill him and it's like why didn't I kill him <laughs> it's the first turn there's like no difference between this turn or like the previous run I did but somehow doing the same exact attacks I wasn't able to kill him and this is sort of the same thing for like the final bosses like if you're going into the final bosses and you do need to get score by dealing x amounts of damage or like the guild bosses you know when you do need to deal like I don't know the current guild boss right now is of course uh, Belgius like if you do hit him on the hell difficulty or I believe 100 50k you get 160 points now this five percent difference like that that could mean you either get the 160 points or you don't that's how crazy that 
that is. So yeah, there is that sort of randomness to the damage numbers. But yeah, anyway, I honestly don't even know why I made this video. <laughs> it was just something interesting I thought I would share with you guys. But do let me know down in the comments if you did find this to be interesting or if you know of like any other sort of hidden mechanics within the game that are perhaps not that well known. Do let me know. But yeah, with that, I think that's going to be it for me. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a most wonderful rest of your day. And yeah, I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.